celebrating the ocean and the ways mankind travel on it and in it. The South African Ocean Festival is all about unique watercraft and sport, and few things fit the bill more than this new fad. The jetabat is a growing sport here in Cape Town. It's, uh, we've recently brought it through to Cape Town the last three weeks. Um, it's starting to, uh, starting to uh, get word around, around town and people are starting to pitch up and fly. It's uh, great fun. Uh, most people get up within five, min within five minutes. It takes a bit of instruction. Uh, there's a YouTube video you can watch prior to doing it. It helps you a lot. Um, but yeah, we get most, all our clients. We haven't had one client that we haven't, haven't got out of the water and flying yet. Balance is clearly key. Scoot up to uh, speeds of 45 kilometers an hour. Uh, you can reach heights of about 30 foot above the water. You can dive into the ocean, go underneath the ocean for about 10 foot and then come back out. The jetabate itself is positively buoyant, so uh, it'll stay above the water. Uh, you can do uh, aerobatical tricks too. So definitely a highlight of the festival, but certainly not the only one. The Ocean Festival also coincides with the arrival of teams participating in the Clipper Around the World Yacht Race. With sailors all key to be part of the festivities. It coincides with our race start next weekend, whenever we're going to do a big parade of sail before the teams head off uh, to Australia. And it just is a real celebration of what the Clipper Race is about. It's about getting people out in the water, challenging themselves, about taking on adventures. So plenty to do in the coming days. And judging by the crowds this year, a must for those who love the ocean. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.